So the first thing we're going to look at um, are Newton's three laws. Um, so Newton's laws, the first one says an object in motion will stay in motion. So that says um, if acceleration is zero, uh, the velocity will be constant. And that doesn't mean the velocity is always going to be zero. If it started at zero and the acceleration is zero, then yeah, the velocity will stay at zero. Um, but if it's starting at moving at a certain speed, like 5 meters per second, and acceleration is zero, it will stay at 5 meters per second. Um, his second law says that um, the, the total force is mass times acceleration. Um, and the third one is for every force, there's an equal and opposite uh, force in the opposite direction. Um, and that's saying that, for example, if I'm pushing on this uh, table at a certain force, the table is pushing on me at an equal but opposite force. And we'll see that right here. So we see this man, he's pushing against this wall um, at 10 newtons. So his force of man on the wall is 10 newtons. And we'll say that this is positive. So positive is to the right. Okay? Now it's asking, what is the force that the wall exerts on the man? Okay? So the force of the wall on the man, well, we know it's 10 newtons, but we know it's in the opposite direction. So we know it's negative. Okay, and in this example, we'll see how Newton's second law comes into play. So this one's saying, I pull a rope attached to a crate at 100 Newton's force. What is the horizontal acceleration of the crate? And um, this guy or this box is, is 50, or the man who's pulling is 50 kilograms and the box is 10 kilograms. So we know this is 10 kilograms and we know the man who's pulling is 50 kilograms. So we got this man right here and he's 50 kilograms. Okay? And the angle that you're pulling this rope at is at 30 degrees. Okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out what equation do we need to know. We need to know F equals MA because we're given some type of force, we're given some type of mass, and we want to find this acceleration. Right? So this is what we want to find and these are the ones that we're given. Okay? Um, so let's just write down what we know. So we know the force is 100 newtons at 30 degrees. Right? And we know that the mass, well, they give us the mass of, mass of the box, which is 10 kilograms. And they give us the mass of the person, which is 50 kilograms. Right? Um, and we want to know the acceleration of the crate. And let me just write in here, horizontal acceleration of the crate. Um, and so, what do you think we'll need to know? The, the mass of the box or the mass of the person? Well, we don't need to know the mass of the person because it's irrelevant to us whether or not it was a, a big guy pulling it or a small guy. Um, we still know that they're exerting this 100 newtons. Okay? Um, so, we also need to know since we want to find the acceleration in the horizontal, we want to also find the force in the horizontal. right? Because they have to be in the same direction. Because you won't have the same... 100 newton force going in the horizontal as the vertical. This is 100 newtons um, at this angle of 30 degrees. So if you remember from our, our trig, um, this would be the hypotenuse times sine of 30, and this is 100 cosine 30. Okay? Um, and so this would be the force in the horizontal equals 100 cosine 30 which is um, 100 times square root of 3 over 2. And this equals mass times acceleration. And this is the mass of the box, which is 10 kilograms. And then the acceleration in the horizontal direction. All right, so we know the final answer will be uh, 5 square root of 3 is the acceleration in the horizontal direction of the crate.